Alright folks, Turkey here, and what is happening? Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm! So, looks like we're playing the Butcher today. The map is Tomb of the Spider Queen, this is going to be great for us getting our stacks up early game. Take a quick look at the teams, and my team we have Gazlo, Medivh, Illidan, the Butcher, Chrome. My enemy team, we're up against Tracer, and the Butcher, of course, is fucking quick match. Rainer, Avatar, and Nazebo. I despise that about quick match. See, having two of the same hero in one game it melts me like. So, level one, we picked up Chop Meat. This will make us do more damage to minions. So, this whole game, we want to be getting our stacks up to 125 so we can get a bit more attack speed. We're just going to work on that poor tunnel it until we get the quest finished. Finish, sorry, if I can talk. So, we'll just make our way down the bottom lane. I would like to just solo the lane. We'll just play it safe here. And uh, we'll try and get our stacks up without dying. Because if you die, you lose them. And I didn't pick up Abattoir. Because if you play a safe Butcher, then you don't have to worry about it. If you just tunnel it, get these stacks as quick as possible. Here's that we're up against there. It's Nazebo. He uses his wall there. Let's see if we can charge him. He's going to trade into me, is he? With a brand on him. Oh, Tracer, you motherfucker! Well, that could have went better, that's for sure. Just getting a bit cocky there, looks like we're losing a full minion wave here. That is totally my bad, I deserve to die there. Charging in the gap there and then getting cocky. Nobody seen to go straight down there and kick up that minion wave, that just separates the men from the boys. Somebody here on my team would have knew what they were doing. They would have come down and soaked that minion wave, would not have lost it. But I'm just salty because I died. But we're going to stay with Nazebo because he can clear the, his waves quickly. Just going to take, we're not even going to chase in them, like, they'll just get away. Looks so like we do lose two up top, this is definitely not a great start, but it's only one minute into the game, so let's try and not get salty. I just had a game there that I lost due to uh, our team couldn't deal with a Zeratul because they can't see him when they're team fighting. You should always just be looking out for him then. Just, I just want him to push minion waves into me. We're just going to play it safe. I'm not even going to charge him. Because I don't see any other enemy in the map apart from the Butcher. So Tracer could be anywhere lurking for me. Like, Look, as we could see, she was on her way. And they're pushing in pretty deep here. We just want to be... We, I'm never going to charge Bra Tracer unless I see a recall coming out from her. I think we're going to go the Flail Axe build, maybe. So we can hit them heroes. Yep, just you... Gonna take more of these blood, thank you. You can just trade enemy all you want. I'm not charging you unless you use thing. Your recall so at level four, what will we get here? I would say Hmm Fleal axe, because they have a lot of range. Yep, just you slide on. Get in that! Beautiful. Payback's a bitch. And the tracer payback is a bitch. There's three fresh meat blood there. I want some of that. We lost one. Oh, so I can out regen globe. Thank you. Looks like it's starting to come around our way a bit. But we don't see when we see one of the enemy in the map, so we need to play a bit safe here. Check that, why not? Make sure there's no one in that bush. I would say Tracer will be coming down straight this lane with a chip on her shoulder after that. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's just go straight back. We do not want to die again. We want to get these stacks as quickly as possible. And this is a good map for it. See, Tracer is going to make our way down here, don't you? Maybe we go up and catch her out of position. Way. We are definitely not getting that. So let's make our way down bottom again. See if we can get some more of them fresh meat stacks. We are pushing in pretty deep in the middle lane, but I think we'll be alright. We have a clean eye on Tracer's not in the map. Tracer is in the map now. I think we're relatively safe here. Still, no, I don't see Tracer. There we go. That's why you check, ladies and gentlemen. That is why you check. Oh, I hate Tracer. You need Colossal Smash or a Stun for it. So at level... Do we need Spell Armor? We do not. Well, Nazebo's kind of like a mage, but the rest of them aren't, so we'll get Insatiable Blade. 
Yes. You're just going to blink away, aren't you? Yeah, what did I tell you? Well, she doesn't know when to use it, which is good for me. Oh, I didn't see you there, Nazebo. Let's just walk away from this. The well's up for us so we can tap that. We don't want to die. We're only at 45 stacks, four, four minutes into the game. One second, there we go. Let's get back into it. See if we can bait her in here. You do not want a piece of me, Tracer. I'm near dead. Oh, we are dead for that. Ah, come on! Give me a break! I ain't going out of that lane with Tracer. Ugh, fuck you, Tracer. Told it from the last game. I knew that charge. This is the way I want to practice a bit of the butcher, because I'm charging at bad times. I know it's really hard to practice your charge in quick match because everybody's just going to burst you down because there's barely any of a tank or a support in the game. I should have maybe went Victulas there. Victulas, is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. For a bit of extra healing. But I fancy it's more damage than Tracer ever got the hands on her, like. Well, at least we make up for it. We get a kill. We're there. We get to pick, pick up them stacks. From that kill, let's go middle. See if we can get some of this. Beautiful, thank you for that. That was quick and nice, crummy. Look at this. I always think you should put the gems in when we level 10, but we are nearly level 10, so don't speak too soon. Well, it then clears that on me, thank you. Only get one stack out of that, and we're only at 51. I want to get this quest completed as soon as possible. So I'm just going to head up top. Looks like the Butcher and Rainer's up top with me. Let's see if you're going to push in. Just puts the brand on me right away. We want him to use his brand first. Looks like we're not going to do much damage to him. So at level 10 we'll pick up Lamb to the Slaughter. Because I think it's the best ultimate. Let's see if we can get a charge off him. Thank you very much. Look, listen to the Chromie. Blaming Medivh. Medivh only gets one shield and it's every like 12 or 13 seconds. I'm going to take that blood. Thank you. This is certainly going our way. Looks like we're going to take a Ford up top. Pushing him with these webmasters as you call them. Can't mind the name of them. I think they are webmasters. Where are the enemy team? They're just down a butcher. I don't see them on the map. We're only four there, so I'm just going to get out of there. There's my Zebo. Let's see if we can get some kills on him. Oh. We want to slow him down because he has the most range. Looks like we do force an ultimate out of Abathur there. What is this going on here? Oh my god. You're going to die, son. Well, am I going to die too? I think so. Nope, we got a nice wee hit there. Old oh, Tracer is on us. Let's just walk away from this. See if we can tap the well. And head to the bottom lane. Let's see if we can get some more stacks. Because we're sitting at 84 right now and I do not want to die. That is fucking for sure. My hair will fall out if I die. My nipples will go soft. Usually they're hard when I play well. But they will drop to a soft level. Looks like we do lose my Dave to Tracer. Why did they continue the fight? There was no reason to fight when we're all sped up. I think we're quel relatively quite safe here at the minute. There is Rainer. He just doesn't have enough damage to do anything. Let's just walk away from this because we don't see Tracer on the map. Yep. That's why you check, ladies and gentlemen. That is why you check the bushes. Looks like they are going to pick up a kill on the Butcher. We're just going to leave this lane. Rainer is turning in there. We're just gonna stop him. A soft cooldown. Come on, are you gonna follow me in? So let's see, level 13 we'll be getting powers, basic attacks, does extra damage. I might go for brittle strike. Beautiful, beautiful. Until the enemy do get the web weavers turned in there. 
We're going to stay here and collect, collect this fat blood. No, it's not looking good. See the enemy pushing in, but they are right numbered. Do want to trace her. Bit of a hunt coming out there from Melodin. Let's see if we can get a... Beautiful. Give me that blood and let's walk away from this because we are pretty deep. Let's put our brand in this here. See if we can wreck, put her down. Wreck her down as quickly as we possibly can. Then we can go bottom and finish her quest. So the butcher... Once you use your flail axe, it resets your, your f hamstring. Sorry, flail axe. That's the name of the talent. Once you use your hamstring ability, it resets your basic attack. So you do a basic attack and then attack it. Look, basic attack and then it resets it right away. Let's put a brand on that. Heal up. So we're really close to completing our quest. Hopefully this will be the finish here once we clear this minion wave. We should be able to get a turn in after this as well. See the bad start? Turned into a good game. Well, oh, not too, too soon. <laughs> oh, he's checking that anyway. Oh, come on, what are we off? Five? I can get five from this. Just hopefully they don't get picked off. Looks like they are going to team fight. Don't fight them, I'm not here. There we go, there's the quest complete. Let's see if we can join the team. As we see here, a hunt going off. We are going to lose Chromie. She did get caught in a... Yeah, this Chromie, like... I have to mute this. Goat. No point team fighting, let's see, mute it. Not much we can do here, that's <laughs> fucking retards, beautiful, like. Where are you going? Oh, well, he's got the brand on me, we need to walk away from him, that's what you do, he's gonna kill me. Good job, guys, we'll pick up all them gems, turn them in. That's crummy, like. That's what you call fucking toxic right there, like, if she dies, it's our fault. You should just go out in the field, love, and just start chewing grass. Maybe you should position yourself a bit better. You do have massive range. Don't know how you're getting caught out. So, uh, level 16 will pick up on rage whenever we lose, get to blow a certain amount of health. We do extra fucking damage. That's what we want. We have no support. We're not going to be getting much healing. So as soon as we charge them, we're probably going to be get half our life took off us anyway. There's Tracer. I wish I could wreck her, but I just don't want to charge her. You don't want to be charging her unless she's used or recalled, because she's just going to recall away and then you're sitting at a cooldown and at a disadvantage because you're probably going to be out of possession too, because you're going to blink away from you. It looks like the team are going for it here. Let's see if we can go on the Zebo. Nope, we're not going to ball her. Looks like Tracer does. Let's slow him down. What? Well, that was a waste. What was that? Beautiful. We trade into him here. He is going to die for it. Oh! Fuck you and your wall. Look at the damage that wall did to me. Uh, he may go and do the fucking lottery tonight because that was lucky as fuck. Check that bush. Oh, he's gone. He got away with that so easily there. Look at these two. They weren't even coming to help us. Beautiful. That was really good for us. Especially with turn in. Looks like we are going to be outnumbering the enemy on the map. We just want to slow her down so she doesn't kill him. So they are down an ultimate. So they are. Beautiful. Who's away on in? Illidan's there without us. He's going to take on Tracer and an Abathur. We're going to join, but... Just want to see a recall come out of her. And then I will charge her. That's her slowed. Or maybe we can put Lance to the Slaughter down. Once this gate goes down, we're going to put Lance to the Slaughter on her. What? Come on, destroy the gate. Beautiful. They just stopped the tightening the gate there. I thought they were tightening the gate. See if we get this keep. I think it's quite a possibility we can. And we're going to get a massive advantage on the enemy here. I do like pressure on top lane, so... 
We've no reason to stay here, guys. Let's take a camp push with it. We take this camp push middle. Oh, I think it was a great idea. And then we could take... Force them into a team fight that they can't win. And then we can go back and take that. Oh, he wants to go boss. That is the worst idea here. Like, see what happens in quick match when you play solo queue. Just nobody is ever on queue with you. Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking ahead here. We take that comp there. We push with it in the middle of the lane. They are going to be forced into a team fight that they can't win because we have two level advantage on them at the minute. But now, going for the, we are sitting here with no comp spread out through the map and probably an engagement here that shouldn't happen. Oh, you and your fuck tracer. See, it's going to chase me. Thank you. There, there comes the recall. The enemy team take it, but they don't push of it. Oh, we are dead. Let's see if we can join in here before he dies. You're never escaping, Aladdin. Good job, Aladdin. Good job. Who died there? Gazdo, I was are fighting up top. Beautiful coming out there from Aladdin. Picks off a kill and the butcher. You really think you're getting away? <laughs> oh, this game makes me chuckle. It makes me chuckle. So we're going to get bolt of the storm. Because I'm fucking dying quite a bit. I'm getting caught out of position quite a bit. There's no support. I want to be able to blink the fuck out of there, you know what I mean? Let's just clear this wave. That actually is a good idea now. There are no minion waves up here at the minute, so they have no idea that we're going for it. Chromie's getting set up for a an ambush. Let's get our brand on it, get our attack speed rolled up. Oh, you do need to use that whenever I just put my brand on you. Like, Thank you very much. It's good to know that we're both on the same side. Oh, you're going to switch to me and my brand's not even on you. See, see when it rains here, you get bad luck. Right, we want to push with this boss. I do like to take a wee sidestep with the Butcher, so you can at least get your hamstring off and your auto attack. Um, get an auto attack off, do you know what I mean? Didn't need to use my brand there on him, he was... Certainly dead, without a doubt he was way out of position and that's what the Butcher capitalises on. Heroes being caught out of position like that. Overextending, there's an ultimate coming out from Mabather, we're just going to slow it. We wanted it to one in, just come in and die for us. Just so you down there. Yep, there's the recall. We're just going to put the... I'll just heal up off you, thank you. There's another massive overextension there. Oh, I thought she was closer. I didn't even know where I was. Need to hold the space bar in a bit more. Maybe we're going to end it here. I don't know. Missed it again. Look at the damage we do to her. Don't run away from me. I need health. No, don't die. <laughs> This is not a lie, I've just went a tad bit bolder. This is not a lie. I can actually feel, felt a wee bit fall out of my dome there when I died. Ah, oh, It's the same bad engagements. Good players like Rainer knows to walk away, but it's all you do with a butcher if you're up against him and he puts his brown on you. Walk away, because if you let him trade into you, he's going to heal and kill you. He just walked away and it, my excessive need for a kill with the, when the brand's on them, something I need to work on, got me killed, like, because I kept following him, even though I, I knew in my head he knew how to cope with me, and I still went after him. You live and learn, you live and learn. Looks like all of them wants to take that come. I hate dying 19 minutes into the game at level 21. You're just sitting here bored, waiting for it to end. Or not to end, not the game to end, you know, your death timer, so you can get straight back in there. But there are no room for turn ins at the minute, even though. I died there. The map still looks in our favour. Let's make our way down the bottom lane. 
because that's where everybody seems to be. Apart from Chromie, she's in the middle lane. We have to put her down there while it in. He, he does die. That is unfortunate. Now the enemy team have a massive advantage over us on the map at the minute. And there's nothing we can really do to you're alive again, son. We just have to wait. Gazlo has a different idea. What? Let's see. I will put money on it that he dies here if he goes down there to the butcher. Or maybe we would both take on the butcher would be a good idea. Nope, he wants to stay there. This is a bad fight for us because we are outnumbered. Oh! We just want to slow him. Slow him down and top the well. We do lose Chromie. It was a bad fight for us. There's not much we could do. Let's see, we just save her bacon there. His bacon, sorry, if I was Tracer. <laughs> well, I'm just walking away from that and giving him the middle fort. There's nothing much we can really do there. The, the engagement was poor. We shouldn't have engaged due to the fact that we were down an Illidan. So we're just going to sit here and clear less. Looks like the enemy do get turned in for the web weavers. This is not looking good for us. I just want to win. See Illidan diving in there and another. Is he dead for it? Oh, and he escapes it. Kudos to Illidan, well done. I was not expecting that. But we're still outnumbered, of course, due to the previous engagement, which shouldn't have happened. Oh, he better get back in. So that's how the enemy team are going to be pushing in here. I don't think we can really stop this fort from going. Staying here is just bad for us. Just have to give it. Oh, we do see a butcher coming there. Is he going to charge me? Ultimate coming out from Mammothur. This Alvador's playing pretty well with his ultimates. Like, using it at good times. Looks so like we do lose my Dave. That's unfortunate. I wonder if Chromie's still coming off. See, you can't fight them. You just need to, like, poke at them and... Just scare them away or avoid them because when you're outnumbered or those you're guaranteed to lose the fight. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Just didn't want to die there from Tracer. Oh, you're getting. Lovely. Not over yet. Fuck you, Avatar. I have not enough health for that. Taking boss would be good. Boss is an excellent idea. This should finish the game. Oh, we're gonna actually gonna win this. Oh, I gotta stick that bit of hair back in. Never let on anything happen. <laughs> Fucking telling you. What are you worrying about, son? We have plenty of numbers and plenty of time to finish the game. Let's see, we might as well put a brand on it, get it down as quickly as possible. There comes Nazebo, that's the wrong Nazebo I'm charging, but we're just going to keep him stunned. We can still put out massive tons of damage, we're just going to zone him out here, we'll probably be the best due to our, our brand, so we're just going to push him with this, hopefully, and finish the game. Oh, the spiders destroyed me. We need to find something to heal off. Should have picked up the healing talent at level 7. We'll be having no support. Just didn't think. I'll learn from that. This has to be a game finisher now. Looks like they lose. Let's see if we can charge her. He's ah, come on. She's definitely going to go on me. Like, Why wouldn't you? Beautiful, thank you for that butcher, the gentleman. Well, there we go, GG, happy days, wasn't expecting that. So I wanted to practice the butcher because, as you can see, I'm not that great as him. But I'm drilling him and I'm going to keep drilling him to get it. Like, what I've been noticing when I'm playing the butcher is I'm going in, charging in. Even if it's the, the I'm not it's not putting me too far out of position. I'm putting the brand 
on the hero that I'm going to kill. And it doesn't stay on long enough, whereas I should kill the hero and then put the brand onto the next hero. So I can heal off him. Because I'm always getting the kill and the charge from what I've noticed. Oh, I've got two thumbs up, thank you very much. And then I'm sitting with no, sitting with no brand up. Do you know what I mean? And then I end up dying because the rest of the team kill me whenever I could have killed him and put my brand onto the, another hero and had enough time to heal up. So hope you all enjoyed this wee quick match game today, the Butcher. I want to do something different, I don't want to be informative anymore, reading out talents, telling you how to play, because you just watch and learn how to play or watch and be entertained, I don't know. We'll go over the talents anyway, and level 1 I got chop meat, flail axe for a bit of length, for getting Rainer and Nazebo and just making it a wee life a wee bit easier to hit that fucking hero there too. Uh, we got Insati Insatiable Blade. We got Lamb to Slaughter, Brutal Strike, Enraged, and uh, I always get Bolt of the Storm unless I'm, you know, three levels ahead and I'm level 20 and they're 17 and I'm going to wipe them continuously and having a great game, I would always get Bolt of the Storm. Just the, uh, you're better off alive, if you know what I mean. If you go in somewhere and you know that you're going to die for it, you can blank out. If you don't have that, uh, it just drives me insane not having it. So hope you all enjoyed the video today. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more, hit the subscribe button. Alright folks, take care.